Hey, I'm back, and today I want to talk about a way to match the sound of your guitar to another guitar, or even pickup setting. So, this isn't a perfect method, but it does help in some cases. So if you see my video before on Match EQ, I showed you how to match uh, the sound of like a speaker cabinet if you take like the sound of a recorded guitar. But this is in the case of where you already have one guitar, like let's say you record something with your bridge humbucking pickup and then you think, ah, I kind of wanted a single coil pickup there. This is how you can process it and kind of change the sound a bit. So I'll show you kind of like two ways you can do this. So one way here, we have some different sounds here. You see I have S-Gear, and here is a, I guess, neck humbucker sound. Let me set that up. Here we go. Just playing some easy chords. Here's a neck single coil sound. So you can see, of course, they're playing the same chords, but they sound really different. The neck humbucker has a lot more bass, and it doesn't have as much of a stringy sound. It's more solid. Whereas the neck single coil has less bass, a little bit more treble, and more of like a sparkling, stringy type sound. So, you know, anybody who plays a guitar knows that that's kind of like the difference between a humbucker and a single coil. But let's see if we can match these two to we so we can make them a little bit closer. So the first thing I want to do is I want to use the same plugin I used before, which is... M freeform equalizer. Turn that on. Now you see we have neck humbucker here. That's going to be our target. So well, I guess we can, we don't really need to loop it. I can just do it once. So I'll push uh, analyze target here and play it. Okay, let me turn down the smoothness so you can see it better. We want to use minimum phase, but we'll worry about that later. Now we're going to go to the neck single coil and push the analyze source here. Okay, so you can see here they look fairly close. So now I want to press, press this button here, make the blue sound like the red. There we go. And that's my profile. Set this to minimum phase, you don't want linear phase here. And now, let me put this directly on here so you can hear them back to back. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it should be much closer. So let's hear it. Now single. Okay, so one problem we have is this is a lot louder, so we need to turn this down. So let's listen to it and actually, I can just go in here. I'll see what the peak is for this and try to match it. Ah, I'm looking in the wrong place. Of course it's not coming up over there. So it says like 9.1. Uh, I don't know. Let me bring this down a few decibels, like 5. A little bit more. Let's see how this is. They're not perfect, but of course these are two different audio recordings and I didn't play them the exact same way, so I'm never going to be able to get them exact, but I think you get more of the tone of a single coil from this. I'll turn this off. Let me loop it and I'll let you hear it on and off. So here it is on. Off. On. So, like I said, it's not a perfect copy, but I think you can hear that, like, ah, that's actually much closer, and it does sound more like a single coil. If I heard that, I would think, ah, oh, somebody definitely recorded that with a single coil instead of a humbucker. So I think it did a decent job. And so that's good if, let's say, you played something before, and you thought, ah, I really wish I would have used a different pickup for that, but for some reason you didn't, or let's say you played it with one guitar, and then you think, ah... 
I can't, you know, redo that part because that guitar's in the shop, like the pickup's broken, the string's broken, etc. And for some reason you can't use it. Or like maybe used it, it's an old recording and you don't even have that guitar anymore. So it can be useful in that case. You can try to match the sound without having to redo all the parts. You can get, you know, somewhat closer if you want to punch in one or two notes. So it's good for something like that. Uh, the next one is, let's say you can't play the same part again or you don't have the guitar what for whatever reason you don't have the exact same parts so let's go here actually let me just open another one up here in freeform EQ and to just take a general spectral profile let's say I have neck humbucker here just play a lots of notes going from the lowest notes to the highest notes on your guitar so you get a, a rather like broad spectral profile so I'll analyze it and I'll show you what I played here it's just nonsense really So it's not much, I'm just playing, you know, like E major, the lowest note on the guitar, and then I'm going up, so I'm playing some of the higher notes. So I have this kind of profile. Now I go into this list button here, I click save, and where I say Schechter humbucker neck, there we go. Of course I did this before, so I already have the presets in there, but you should make your own presets of your guitars. And once I have that, I have that saved, so I can use that as a source next time. Now. Pause that, turn this loop off, move down here to freeform equalizer. I'm going to do the same thing before, but there's a few things I need to, you know, kind of worry about here. So I go in here, I'm going to play this little riff once, and I'm going to analyze the target so I can get the profile of this, which came from my neck humbucker. So I think, okay, that sounds all right, but I really wish I didn't use that humbucker sound. I wish I would have used a single coil sound. So before I did this, I got a profile of my single coil pickup. So I'll use Schecter single coil neck. Different profile, equalize the blue to sound like the red. There we go. And that's basically my profile. These kind of spikes here, you really don't need those. And sometimes you can cut those out. It probably won't come through, but you can just draw here, left click, get those out of there. And so this is good, but the problem you're going to hear is it's going to sound really phasey because of the range. So I'll let you hear it and then let's fix the problem. So here we go. Oh, also it's on linear phase instead of minimum phase. So you hear that. That's the problem with the linear phase. So use minimum phase, but it's still, you could hear that. It sounds like almost like phasing. Well, I'll let you hear it again really quick. Here we go. So you can see that sounds terrible, and that's because the range is too high. So like here, I'm almost doing like 18 decibels of boost. I'm doing, you know, like over 12 decibels of cuts. That's too much. So what we want to do is lower this. I'd say start maybe around 15 decibels and go from there and see how that sounds. So I'll try it now. I still hear a little bit, but it's not quite as bad. But another problem is the sound is a little bit too hot. A single coil is probably not going to hit your amp that high. So I want to not only make this even, I want to make it a little bit lower. So you see here, the peak, the output is four point, negative 4.8, and the input is 11.4, which means there's a, a big difference. I don't want that. Uh, so what I want to do is lower this uh, a bit so it's closer to equal. I can use the set, but I want to maybe make it a little bit more accurate. So about six or maybe almost seven. Uh, so that should, actually let's do like seven because I want it to be a little bit weaker than a humbucker sound. So let's hear it now.
That's closer to what I want. Let me turn this up a little bit so you can hear it a little bit better. Ooh, there we go. And let me loop it and I'll turn it on and off so you can hear the difference. So you can hear quite a bit of difference. I'm sure if I turn the gain up a little bit, let me try a slightly different one, different preset, so maybe this will be more noticeable. You can really tell here at the end. Let me loop this so you can hear it. Here we go. So here it is, off. On. So you can hear there's a big difference in bass and gain. So I think, you know, it did an okay job for that. Not perfect, like I said, but it can be interesting. And I guess I'll do one more. Uh, let me loop this for you turn this off and just hear this as it is. Okay, and so this is a bridge single coil. Let's change it into a more of a bridge humbucker if we can. This one's a little bit harder than going from humbucker to single coil. So let's analyze it. Okay. Where'd it go? There we go. So that's my analysis. Have it on minimum phase. Source, Schechter, Humbucker, Bridge. There we go. Equalize it, sound like that. Now I see it's lots of extreme stuff. I can cut this out, but eh, let's not worry about it for now. Turn this down to around 15. And now let's see what it sounds like. That's good. I can make this a little bit hotter because the humbucker should be a little bit hotter than the single coil. Let's see how it sounds now. Off. On. Okay, so... Like I said, it is making a difference, not perfect, and depending on what your amp simulator settings sound like, it will also make a difference too. Some settings, like if you use a ton of gain, you probably won't hear much of a difference no matter what you do. But on lower gain, you should be able to hear some type of difference. And also it depends on how different your pickups sound too. So if you're you're using two guitars that sound almost similar, you're not gonna hear much of a difference anyways. But that's how to do it, and if you want to increase the difference here, Instead of 15, let's turn it up to like 18, see how this sounds. Off. So you can increase it like that, but like I said, I'm starting to hear a little bit of like this mid-range honk and boxiness, which obviously, actually my bridge single coil actually does sound a little bit boxy, but I'm starting to hear some phasiness, so I probably wouldn't go up that high, I'd bring it down some. But hopefully this gave you some ideas of things you can do, and another cool thing that I didn't mention is you can actually morph between these. So if I do this, let me play it one more time, and I can morph between like a single coil and a bridge. Okay. 
So that's about it for today. Uh, there's other things you can do. Like I said, you can morph between it, which is interesting, mess with the gain, other things. And you can, you know, just kind of mangle your tone. And if you don't like how this sounds, feel free to, you know, cut certain parts out. You're like, ah, it's too much mid-range here. Just draw it out. So you can mess with it. And there's all sorts of interesting and creative things you can do. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Turn on notifications. And until next time, see you.